my sunshines welcome back and thanks for popping in i am so glad you're here just a warning i had an iced chai latte today i don't know what happens when i put a chai latte over ice but it makes me super sassy i can't explain it i just know that's what happens <laughs> also have this really fun shirt that's got movement whenever i think about wearing it i feel like dancing oh dancing oh dance the night away all right if you're shopping by for the first time it's going to calm down just hang on it'll get better i thought we'd have ourselves a little unboxing palooza today so i grabbed four subscription boxes off the top of my subscription box pile and we are going to open them together if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up also if you're stopping by for the first time comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally in the comments as always I try and keep this place really positive so if you're having a bad day and you need a place to just come and exhale for 15 or 20 minutes and forget about what's going on in your life then this is going to be the perfect spot for you we are just going to go ahead and dive head first into the boxes I'm excited about this first one. It's one of my personal favorites. I have the Desk Stash box for spring 2023. So if you're unfamiliar with Desk Stash, it is a quarterly office supply subscription box. It doesn't just have like your basic yellow post-its and silver paper clips. The office flies inside are really stylish and full of whimsy. So if you're a person that just wants to have a cute home office or you want your cubicle at work to stand out you want things to be a little different this box is going to be for you it's totally unisex the things inside can be used for both men or women and that's what i really like about it it's 45 dollars a quarter and you're going to get about five to seven items really interesting items things from other countries things you might have not seen before we've even received a few items from the museum of modern art which i think is really cool and so so we're going to go ahead and dive in. I do have a discount code for 15% off your first box if you're interested. Just an FYI, I'm thinking about this because I'm putting on my glasses. My favorite readers broke today and I almost cried because I can't replace them. They came from Michaels and they don't carry them anymore. So I have these blue ones that I got from CVS because I forgot my readers one day. Um, if you have a place to find really cute readers, where are you getting them at? <laughs> Please hook a girl up. I looked on Amazon. I didn't really see anything I loved loved although there's a few things in my cart so if you have a secret place to get really cute readers let me know all right so when we open up the desk stash it looks like this this tells a little bit about the box typically you get about a 70 to 100 dollar value in the box this time we're going to get one two three four five six seven so that's at the top of the number of items that you should get and this box has a retail value of seventy dollars the theme is the day tripper edition all right i see something really cool at the top we're just going to pull that one off right away so we got a selfie ring light this looks like it's specifically for your computer it has an adjustable brightness with three light color settings and it's usb powered video conference beauty light so if you're doing zooms just with your girlfriends or at work it's really handy to have good lighting it really takes a multitude of sins away let me just tell you so this is what it looks like and let's see what it says joyce from billing nicked one of these to do her makeup tu tutorials on the tickety talk her followers went from 19 to 73 overnight why use this and watch all your flaws vanish your chins your nose hair your xanthalasmus all gone. i forgot to tell you this box is hysterical it has a sense of humor i think it's one of the things that makes it so endearing to me so that's a great a great item i think anybody could use this even if like you just need some extra light maybe when you're cooking and you're following a recipe on pinterest i have my computer in my kitchen all the time you could put this on top our oven light you know the light bulb died the other day <laughs> i could have used this to read the recipe anyway there you go use it for lots of different things okay the next item in here oh this is handy okay this is a vinyl record glasses cloth so it's one of those microfiber cloths that you can use on your glasses your old lady readers or your old men readers whatever you have your phone screen your computer screen 
This is nice, the record style microfiber cloth from those brilliant Brits. This Erstos vinyl record microfiber cloth keeps Ernie at receptions, readers, and monitors green, fog, and fingerprint free. Ernie's fingers are usually laden with toner and donut crumbs. So that's saying a lot. <laughs> Almost the whole box from winter was about Ernie at reception and it was absolutely hysterical. I'll put that video down below in case you want to see it. It was so, it was so funny. Anyway, adorable. It does look like a vinyl record. Let's see, my glasses are usually pretty dirty. I think I'll probably put this in my nightstand. Oh yeah, baby. That works nicely. Oh! <gasps> I can see. Like Ernie, my glasses are usually coated in lots of things too. All right, the next item in here looks like this. We have some bicycle shaped paper clips. Adorable, looks like red, navy, green, and yellow. It says the bicycle shaped paper clips, the cleverest paper clips in your department. Whenever Joyce from Billing includes these in her weekly deposit, the bank teller flirts with her mercilessly. You're trifling with me because of my colorful bicycle paper clips, she huffs. It was true, now they're dating. Well, I'm glad she found the love of her life. <laughs> Congratulations, Joyce from Billing. Okay, those are adorable. How many do you get in here? 20. So five of each color. Here, let's open them. I just want to see the one on this card. Here's the green one. Oh, that is so cute. Hold up, I did it backwards. I wanted you to be able to see it on the back of the white. Isn't that cute? How fun! What we have is the guard your ID. I love these things. Okay, as a matter of fact, I used one. Hold on, I'll show you, because I have one. I used it on the back of this. So what it is, is a stamp roller that you roll over your address, and that way, like if you were living in an apartment or you've got some personal bills that you wanna take care of during your lunch hour and you don't wanna throw them in the office trash can where other people could see your address or your account numbers or whatever, you can rub this over your address, your account numbers, whatever, and it blocks it out. These are amazing. So guard your ID. It says, did your shredder destroy itself again? Yeah, ours did too. Thanks Office Depot. <laughs> now you can reach for this ID roller to completely obfuscate, look it up it says, your personal information on canceled checks, credit card offers, and your latest TRW report. So it looks like this. Here, I'll show you what it does. So this one's cute. Does it have something else in it? No, okay. So it looks like this. And then you pull this off somehow, and it's got a little roller. And say this at the bottom right here is your account number. You can roll this over it, and it's totally gone. So it's nice. I mean, could you use a Sharpie for it? Yes, but I don't know about you, but I can never find a Sharpie when I need one. So that's just handy to have in your desk for all of those important documents and things. If you don't have a shredder and you just want to, you know, black out your account numbers and stuff. Awesome. That's great. That's so useful. Okay. The next thing we have is this little notepad here. It says, this is the classic grid notepad. Grids. Grids are the future. Pick your algebraic sine waves on them or build a crossword. This pad features 80 grams of exceptionally smooth French milled paper. Ernie at reception uses them to track his daily crypto losses. <laughs> Poor Ernie in reception. So yeah, it's a grid. I like grids too. If you're making lists, it's really easy to keep lists. But you could also use these if you're a crafter, like you'd like to do junk journaling or whatever. This would be great. You can kind of make it whatever you want. Perfect. Okay, and then we have two more things in here. This one is in this very plain white box. Are we on deal or no deal? <laughs> That's what it looks like. The little, uh, do they even have that show anymore? The little briefcase from Deal or No Deal? Doesn't it look like that? Okay, I'm curious. Let's read about it before we see what's inside. 
Um, this, oh, okay. This is the Million Zero Halliburton Briefcase Card Holder. Fact, Robert Downey Jr. brings a full-size one of these to the set whenever he makes a picture. He carries all of his important stuff in there, and now it's yours for you to organize your otherwise loose collection of business cards. That's adorable. Fun. It really opens up just like, hold on, does it? Give me a minute to figure out how to open this. I was pushing these little buttons the wrong way, so it works just like a briefcase you see these little dots you pull them out and then it opens and there you go for your business cards that's really cute you can put this in your briefcase and you would find it wherever you go in your purse wherever oh adorable that is fun okay and then last but not least we have one more thing and this is the mini marks these are magnetic little bookmarks and they've got works of art on them. It says framed classic mini marks. Boy, are these fancy. Apply a finishing Dutch touch to your reports with these tiny magnetic Vermeer, Van Gogh, and Klimt masterworks. Each miniature painting has gentle but firm magnets attached. Joyce from Billing looks fetching when she wears <laughs> the earrings. Of course she did. That's how she snagged the teller at the bank really pretty so there's Vermeer there's Van Gogh and then I don't not familiar with this artist don't don't come for me who did they say he was Klimt I need to look up that piece of art so whether you're just using this for reading or to keep your papers together it's got a little magnet here I'll show you on either side so you just clip it like that to hold your papers together really really fun that could be if your sales are down <laughs> you can use this to attach your statements too just kidding. that was my desk stash for spring 2023 i think they did such a good job everything in this box was really useful i mean i think we can all use a little microfiber cloth and how cute is the record you pull this out of your purse to clean your readers that's definitely a conversation starter the selfie ring light even if you're retired and you're not going to be using this for a um like a meeting or something there's so many uses i talked about using this on the top of my computer for when i'm doing like a pinterest recipe but i'm also thinking we do a lot of puzzles at our house and a lot of times at night we're trying to bring extra lamps because there's just not enough light this would be great to clip on just your puzzle box i think there's a lot of ways in your life you know you're building a project your husband maybe your wife or whoever is building a project outside they need a little extra light in the garage or their workshop this would be great super super handy we have the grid notebook who doesn't love a notebook right we have the business card holder whether you pop this in your desk or you stick it in your purse or your briefcase this is another conversation starter. It's full of whimsy and style and just really cute. We got the little classics mini bookmarks, the um, roller ID. This is worth its weight in gold. I love these. And then the bicycle shaped paper clips. They're just so charming and fun. I absolutely love them. Desk Stash does send this box to me over for review. So thank you, Desk Stash. I think you knocked out of the park once again. I'm gonna leave my discount code for 15% off down below. I'm also gonna pin it to the very first comment under this video. So if you can't find the description box, just go all the way up to the top, um, the first comment under this video, and it will be there. And now let's go ahead and dive in to our next box, which is my book of the month. I actually do pay for book of the month um, with my own money. I love to read. I'm a big reader. If you don't know, I have a book club with my best friend. It's called Pieces of Sunshine. Um, it's always in the description box if you want to come and check it out. This month, we let the um, members pick the genre and we picked mystery so we're reading a mystery this month but next month we're going to be taking suggestions everybody can put a book in the comments um, that they want to read and then we're going to have a comment picker pick five suggestions and then we're going to vote on those so it's sort of like member pick which is going to be really fun i digress though um, book of the month is a monthly book subscription box so if you just want the book you don't want anything else you just want a book this one's going to be for you if you want like fun stuff to go with the book I suggest Authentic Book Box, which I will have probably later next week. So this is $17.99 a month, and every month you will go through
through and you will pick from about seven different books of lots of different genres. If you're more like contemporary fiction or chick lit, you love a beach read, you love a thriller, you love mystery, historical fiction, lots and lots of different choices. You get to pick a hardback book and it's always a new release. As a matter of fact, the book that I chose for March was an early release. Book of the Month got it before anybody else. It was so, so good. Um, so you pick your book and this box ships so quickly. Now, if you just know that you're going to have a month where you're not going to be able to read much, that happened to be in December, you can actually skip a month and that credit will move over to the next month. So I didn't pick a book for December. And then in January, I was able to use my January credit to pick a book. And then I wanted two of the suggestions of the seven that we could pick from. And I was able to use my credit to get a second one. So I love that feature. They also have audio books if you do better with audio. I think right now it's only for Apple users, just FYI. I do have a discount code to get your first book for only $9.99. I thought the April suggestions were amazing. <laughs> um, I actually couldn't decide it was one of those months so I picked two books and then I actually got another book from like their bookstore it's a past book it was last year's book of the month book of the year it was their pick for book of the year so I'll show you what I ended up getting the first book I picked was called Advira and the Hollywood Wives um, this is very much my genre. I love a beach read too, but I love like a New York socialite type of book. This one obviously is coming out of Hollywood. It says at 26, Advika considers herself a failed screenwriter. To pay the bills and keep her mind off the recent death of her twin sister, she's taken to bartending a list events, including the 2015 Governor's Ball, the official after party of the Oscars. Here in a cinematic dream come true, she meets the legendary Julian Zelding, a film producer as handsome as Paul Newman and 10 times as powerful, fresh off his fifth best picture win. Despite their 41 year age difference, Advika falls helplessly under his spell and their evening flirtation ignites into a whirlwind courtship and elopement. Of course it does, right? Advika is enthralled by Julian's charm and luxurious lifestyle, but while Julian loves to talk about his famous friends and achievements, he smoothly changes the subject whenever his previous relationships come up. Then, less than a month into their marriage, Julian's first wife Life, the famous actress Evie Lockhart dies and made a shocking stipulation in her will. Again, of course she did. A um, single film reel and a hundred million or a, a million dollars will be re bequeathed to Julian's latest child bride on one condition: she must divorce him. So she has to decide if she wants a million dollars or if she wants to stay with Julian. There's a little bit more to the story. But that sounds real, real good. So I ended up getting that one. That was one of the picks for April. And then this was the other pick for April. I think the cover is so adorable. It's called Anna Maria and the Fox. I haven't read this author before, so I'm excited about that. It says, Anna Maria Luna Valdez was, has strived to be the perfect daughter, the perfect niece, and the perfect representative of the powerful Luna family. So when she is secretly sent to London with her sisters to seek refuge from the French occupation of Mexico, Anna Maria experiences her first taste of freedom far from the judgmental eyes of her domineering father. If only she could ignore, ignore the piercing look she receives across ballroom floors, from the Astaire, Mr. Fox. Gideon Fox elevated himself from London gutters by chasing his burning desire for more opportunities and more choices for everyone. Now, as a member of parliament, Gideon is on the cusp of uh, securing the votes he needs to put forth a measure to abolish the Atlantic slave trade once and for all, a cause that is close to his heart as the grandson of a formerly enslaved woman. The charmingly vexing Anna Maria is a distraction he must ignore. But when Anna Maria finds herself in the crosshairs of the nefarious nobleman with his own political agenda, Gideon knows he must offer his hand as protection. Will this Mexican heiress win his heart as well? Okay, so we've got that one. And then this was book of the month, book of the year. It's called Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow. Have you heard of this? I feel like it's um, that I heard it something about like 
gaming. It's kind of set in a gaming scenario. And this book is $28. So you only pay $17.99 a month for the books. So I feel like it's worth the, the price if you like to read a physical book. It says, in this exhilarating novel by the best-selling author of a life of A.J. Flickery, two friends often in love but never lovers come together as creative partners in the world of video game design where success brings them fame, joy, tragedy, duplicity, and ultimately a kind of immortality. I've heard most people love this. I've heard a few people don't, but when I saw that it was their book of the year last year, I was like, I gotta read it. I gotta read it. If they think it's that good, I'm curious enough to grab it. So anyway, if you want to try book of the month, you can use my discount code down below. That's going to give you your first book for only $9.99. Okay. The next book that I, a box I got is my Walmart beauty box. I pay for this one with my own money too. It is $6 and 98 cents every quarter. You get what's kind of hot and new in the drugstore. So you can get shampoo, conditioner, think like travel sizes for the most part. If you're going on a spring or summer vacation, these are great to just put in your travel bag. Um, sometimes we get makeup or beauty. I found some really great makeup brands in here that I've come to be like my holy grail brands. So $6.98, that includes the shipping and shipping's pretty expensive right now. I don't feel like you can go wrong with this one. And this is what it looks like. This is the spring box. All right, so when you open it up, it looks like this. There's a little uh, pamphlet in here. I think you do take, it's been so long. I've been subscribed to this probably for six years, but I think you take a little bit of a quiz when you get this box. And then here are the types of things you can get. Not all of this is going to get in your box, but these are the options in different variations in people's boxes, I think depending on your profile just a little bit. Um, we got the Thayer's Facial Toner with Witch Hazel. So that's not a new product, that's just like a classic staple. I feel like I've seen this in subscription boxes for years and years. It is really good. Um, it's a little stingy if you have like a blemish or something, but I do really like it. Wow, we got some Kiss Gel Nails. How pretty are these? Wow, those are like the color of my skin though almost, aren't they? I don't know how those are gonna look on me. Hmm, I'll have to try them or maybe I'll give them over to my daughter. It says, I was trying to see if it said a price. It doesn't, these just say it's a full size item. But I feel like nails are like, what, seven to $10 maybe if you went to Walmart. Okay, so we got that. We got a little sample of It's Sunny Honey by Juicy Couture looks like this which again if you liked this this would be great to put in your travel bag just has a spray oh, this one's good i don't like when you get the samples that you have to take the lid off and then kind of let it drip down your arm this has got a spray so let's see what we think about it Ooh, well that's nice it feels very like sunny vacation beach with a little bit of like playfulness that's nice okay we got a body Mist. It's Japanese Cherry Blossom by Body Fantasies. That looks like it should be from the um, the whatever and the Fox book. <laughs> All right, so we have that one. I just sprayed perfume, so let's see if we can smell this. Hmm. 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 I don't know about that one. The jury's still out. Between this one and the body spray, the perfume and the body spray, the perfume wins. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have to put this on after I get out of the shower to really tell. I feel like it's mixing with the perfume, but I'll give it a go. This is by Neutrogena. It is a hydrating cleansing gel. It's fragrance free. Perfect. We got a CoverGirl Skin Correcting Serum. Oh. We got four color correcting serum primers. So basically whatever your problem is, like I think this would be for under eyes, it will counteract the dark, or maybe this one, the dark um, circles under your eyes. Interesting. Ooh, now this is something new. Available in four shades. I'm excited to try that. That looks good. Okay, um, that's probably my favorite thing so far. And then we have one more thing in here. 
is a little spray bottle and it's by Mark Anthony. It's Repair Bond oh, Leave-In Treatment. So it's a leave-in spray for your hair. Helps to repair, I guess. I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried the Mark Anthony brand before. So that's for all hair types. Okay, I'll give it so a go. That was my box. Was this my favorite Walmart beauty box? Uh, maybe not. Um, only because these nails, I feel like, are almost the exact color of my skin, and I don't know that they're going to look great on my hand. If they were a little bit more pinky toned or had a little more color to them, I think I would like them better. Um, it might be fun to just try them and see if the formula is good, and maybe I could buy another color. But I did um, really like this CoverGirl Color Correcting Serum Moisturizing Primer sample set that they gave us. I know some people don't love a little perfume sample, but this one smells really nice. I liked the hair bond stuff, the Thayer's. I mean, that's just a really good basic toner. So I didn't think it was a bad box considering that it includes shipping. What I love about this box is about a month before it ships, they will actually send you a reminder and say, hey, we're about to ship your box. Is your address still the same? Is your credit card number still the same? And then about the time you've forgotten about it, it just shows up in your mailbox. So it's kind of a surprise. Um, so anyway, that is my Walmart box this time. And then the last box that I have, I'm not showing this every month. I didn't show it in April, um, but there's enough people that have asked me to show it that I'm gonna show it periodically, is my Planner Envy subscription box. This is the May box. They do ship pretty early, so you've got it in time to use it in your planner coming up. There's a couple ways you can subscribe to Planner Envy. You can get um, 10 sheets of planner stickers. That's mostly what this is um, with three accessories and a set of washi tape for $38.50. If you add an extra set of washi tape on, it becomes $48.50. But they have a more budget friendly subscription. You can get one set of washi for $13.50 or two sets of washi for $23 without the stickers. So this is what the box looks like. I pay for this one with my own money also. Somebody asked me the other day, would you buy this box if you didn't have to pay for it? Do you pay for any box? And I was like, yeah, I actually pay for about 15 a month. So anyway, here is what we got this time. Oh my cuteness. Look at the lemon. That's adorable. So these are great to stick in the top of your planners. I have an Erin Condren, and so it kind of keeps track of the week that I'm in because I plan weekly. Oh, that's adorable. I hope this whole thing is lemon scented. Where's my glasses? I lost them, they're on my lap. <laughs> At least they weren't on my head. Okay, so I don't think this whole thing is lemons because here's my washi. Remember, I get two sets of washi. Washi is just a, a Japanese paper tape. You can use it for decorating, for sewing, for crafting. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. Reminds me of little cherry blossoms just on a blue background. Oh, it's pretty with thin, a thinner one. We have this one, which is a little bit thicker. We have a stripe. Like this would be cute if you've got to wrap um, a dad's birthday or a Father's Day gift and you're just wrapping it with navy paper. You can use this tape, that would be adorable. This is just a baby blue. And then this one's got like butterflies all over it. So that's my washi. Um, we have a pen, or this is a highlighter. It's a yellow highlighter, which goes, I guess, with the theme of the lemon. Nice. So if you like to cross things off your list, you can highlight it, meaning that you've done it. And then we have a Planner Envy stationery collection. And look how cute this kind of matches. Well, maybe it's this one. Yeah, this washi tape goes with it. So it's just a lined little notebook, which is perfect. Isn't that pretty? If you didn't need a notebook, you could stick this down in like a Mother's Day gift basket if you wanted. Really, really cute. And then here is my spreads. So typically you get three packages, which is enough for four weeks of spreads if you like to plan. I'm looking for the lemons. Oh, there is a lemon theme, yay. Okay, so here's the first one. 
And you can kind of mix and match within the kits. You don't have to use them the way that they suggest. So this is more butterflies and you can see they've got big boxes that match the washi. So my Erin Condren has three different boxes, like morning, afternoon, and evening. If I don't have anything in the afternoon, like I'll just put a pretty decorative sticker. I love the greens and blues of this one. This one's more functional. So it's got a checkbox. So you can put like your to-do list, what you need to clean, whatever, just right next to it and then check it off as you're done. You could use this as um, how many glasses of water you've had to drink. You can make this like what you have to, the errands you have to run one day, really, anything you want with those guys goals for the week appointments I love the sticker that says not happening because sometimes I will put stuff in my planner and it just didn't happen that day and then this one's got the longer sheets that's pretty I love the colors that they did look at the little bunnies I didn't even see the bunnies I love that. Sometimes they make bunnies just for Easter, but they are kind of spring. Here's a box that you can put across your weekend days. Okay, so that was the first one. Then we have the lemons. I'm excited for that one, I think, the most. So this kind of looks like Italy, like an old rustic, um, town in Italy a little bit. I think of Limoncello. I like that box right there. I think that's really pretty. This is things to do, things to buy. Oh, I like this one too. Really pretty. And then again, this is your functional page. This is your pretty page. It's got the weekend sticker and the longer ones that one I love it oh, the blue and the yellow that's my favorite of this one so far and I love these I don't they probably had them on the other sheet but I like these that say like meals or just lists because what I'll do is take the side of my planner and meal plan with this um, just usually I meal plan dinners but it's really helpful so they do give us one meal one and then things to buy like if you're going out these are the things that you need to pick up while you're out and then here is the third one and i just got it's actually full of snacks right now but if you saw my last dollar tree haul i got this really pretty little gold basket to put my planner spreads in it's gonna be so cute and this one is all cleaning because i guess spring cleaning look how cute though it's kind of sassy and fun it says laundry day spring cleaning got the laundry basket with the washer all the little cleaners fun There's a little spray bottle here and then this one has just got your functional stickers and that was my planner envy um i will link that down below also and that was my four boxes we're done with our unboxing palooza for saturday i hope you enjoyed this video definitely stay tuned i know i've been a little bit absent i just took a little mental health break for a couple of days this past week but i should be back to a regular schedule again starting monday Again, thank you for being here, and I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.